What's up everybody? Today, I just wanted to do a little bit of a chill video of me leveling up in space because, uh, well, it's not really about me leveling up in space. It's more of just like me addressing what my plans are for the future of this channel. Um, and what I mean by that is what kind of content I'm going to be doing, you know, just normal YouTuber stuff, so. <clears throat> First, I'd like to really say that, um, the live streams are gonna stay. I'm gonna be live streaming more than I'm gonna be uploading videos, and my current plan right now is that I'm trying to upload, that's the server, this server is decent, I'm trying to upload at least something a day, whether it's a video or a stream. You know, sometimes I'll do two a day, but I have a lot of videos currently that are, I'm, I'm just waiting to upload. Because, like, if I don't feel like streaming, I can upload a video. Because I like to be a, I'd like to become more of a streamer. Because I have a lot of fun streaming. And I like talking to my, my fans. That's what I like to do when I'm streaming the most is talking to the people who watch my videos and support me. And answering questions and helping them, you know. But... What the point of that is that, like, the, the point of streaming or uh, uploading a video when I can't stream is so that I can have a schedule. Because, as I said, I'm trying to, you know, do something at least every day. And I might stutter a bit because I don't really have a script. I just wanted to talk about this quickly to get it off my chest. So, there is a very obvious thing that's going on with my channel right now and it, that it's it's growing pretty quickly i mean we hit 3,000 subs two days ago considering it's past midnight yeah 3,000 subs and at this moment now we're at let me see exact the exact number of time recording this we're at 3,500 subs we just hit that's 500 subscribers in less than 72 hours. Like, that's that's crazy to think that. Like, in for some bigger YouTubers, that not be, might not be that much. And to some people, that might not sound like that much. But when you have this, when you have a, the amount of subscribers that I do, like, you know, 3,000, and then you get 500 more, that's a big, that's a big deal, you know? And... The reason why isn't really because I've been streaming every day or that I've been working hard or that I'm good at final stand. It's because for some reason the the videos that I do with the movies get a lot of views and as a YouTuber I'm obviously going to do what gives me views. It's not that I'm selling out, that's just the smart thing because I'm getting money from it. I'm getting more money from that than I am you know, doing something else. Which I'm not gonna stop doing everything else. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing it all because I like to do it, and it act, and it is still successful. Most of the other things I do on my channel, like the transformation comparisons, you know, etc. Like those are successful in the in the videos and the PvP videos. Um, those do good, and that's what I like to do. And with that being said, these little roleplay movies that I'm doing, like. You know, the Broly one that has a hundred and... Let me, let me check the exact numbers again, just so you guys can get an idea of what I'm saying. Right now, my two most popular videos are these roleplay videos. And... <laughs> what are they barking at? Jeez. Um, the... My most popular is at 154,000 views right now. That's the Broly recreation. That I did two months ago and four days ago I uploaded another recreation the Jiren versus Goku one and that has 60,000 views <clears throat> in four four days so the <laughs> 60,000 views is a lot in four days especially for me like if a video gets a thousand views in that time I know is a real is a pretty good video you know like you know more recently at least but 
it's just mind blowing that uh, that's <laughs> that's a, that's a lot of views, you know, for me. Like, and that is probably what the uh, subscribers are coming from mostly, you know. And comment below if you were a, if uh or why and when you subscribed. It's just so you could see like a lot of the people are probably gonna say because of your movies, you know, like it's. And that's not a bad thing, cause you know that's it just it's uh it's successful, and I'm not ranting on anything, cause that's amazing. So, and I'm gonna keep doing those movies. I've gotten asked a lot in my live streams if I'm gonna keep doing them. Yes, I am. Um, I was planning on doing them anyway. I was gonna do them if they got 1,000 views or. 100,000 views, I was, I'm gonna keep doing them, because they're really fun to do, they're, I like how they turn out to be, I just, you know, I think a lot of people liked how they turned out to be, considering how many views they got, but, you know, I digress, so, next is gonna be the Goku versus Kefla recreation and I like to be very realistic when it comes to these recreations so As you can see I'm leveling up a character that looks like Goku. This is the same character that I made a made the uh, Turn into power recreation on my roleplay Goku that I've been leveling up in streams um, It's level 270 right now Non prestige or it's prestige one. I mean and it's, uh, you know, it's going good. So, when I get this uh, leveled up to level 600, I'm gonna, it depends, because I also have, a, I'm making a Kefla right now, well, my friend is, and I'm helping him do it for the Kefla movie, because Kefla needs to be at least Prestige 1. And that Kefla character right now is, um, Prestige 0. So, it's just gonna depend what I do, because the reason why I prestige this to prestige 1 is obviously I need Master Ultra Instinct, but I'm not gonna get any forms for prestige 1. And this goes back to how I said I like realism in the recreations. So, Goku in the show, he got a lot stronger after the original Ultra Instinct. The, after he did the, that in the anime Dragon Ball Super, during the turn of power, um, arc, I guess, he got a lot stronger from the first time he did Ultra Instinct to the second time versus Kefla, so I'm gonna recreate that, and I'm gonna be, and not, not a lot of people are gonna know unless they watch this video, but it's gonna be stronger, the slot is gonna be stronger than what it was, so... I just, and another reason that I'm prestiging is because Master Ultra Instinct, like, you need to be Prestige 2 for it, so obviously I'm, I need to get that for the Jiren final, the final boss thing, so what my plans are is I'm gonna prestige this if the Kefla isn't ready by the time I prestige this, which it probably won't be, so which is level 600 by the way, which is what I'm going for. The Kefla is about like 250-ish right now. So if it's not ready for the recording by by then, then I'm probably gonna prestige this again. So MUI, and people were asking me if I were gonna make an MUI recreation versus Jiren full power, and yes I am, so. Um, look forward to that, but before that, we're doing this the Kefla recreation. I think you guys are gonna like it because I've I've been planning this for a, a really long time. How I would recreate it ever since Broly. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy that one because it's gonna turn out really good. Trust me. Um, after Kefla, I'm gonna do uh Goku and Vegeta when they went uh their transformations on Jiren. Like Vegeta went. Uh, Royal Blue or Blue Evolved, I guess it's called now from Xenoverse. So B Blue Evolved or or um some people call it Master Blue. I don't really like that because well in this game it, this game calls it Master Blue. I don't like that definition because 
in this game specifically, the key drain is worse. So if it were mastered blue, it'd be better, but it's <laughs> it's not. So anyway, a after that rant, um, the after the Kefla, I'm gonna do Blue Evolve Vegeta and Goku versus Jiren, and then after that, or during that as well, I'm gonna make. I'm probably gonna do the uh, Toppo one. I don't know. I'm still debating on that. But if I if I don't, I'm gonna have the Ultra Instinct Goku versus Jiren, like the Omen one, that, like the rematch before he mastered Ultra Instinct. And then Master Ultra Instinct will be its own episode, so you guys should look forward to that. That'll be out um, eventually. So live streams are gonna continue. Everything's gonna continue. I just wanted to give an update about everything with all the recent success that's been going around with the channel. So, and if you didn't notice, uh, I got a new microphone with my YouTube earnings that I got last month. And I got, I'm gonna get a gaming chair next month, so the earnings from all the ads are, are going to making the quality better, don't worry. And after that month, I'm getting a graphics card, so I can, like a, a better graphics card for my computer, so I can stream better, so <laughs> don't worry, I'm not, I'm not gonna be dumb or, and not buy anything good with the money I make, so if you watch an ad on my channel, just remember, just think that it's going to help me a lot. So, yeah. Thank you for listening to my uh, 11, 12 minute discussion on on this. Um, so, thank everybody. F I thank everybody for watching my videos and watching the live streams and supporting and joining the Discord group and the Roblox group and everything. It's just been amazing. I have a really nice community, and I'm glad that it isn't turning into a, <laughs> a toxic community. I won't mention which YouTuber that is, but in the Final Stand community. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to stop recording before I say something stupid. Thank you all for, this, for supporting me. Thank you. I appreciate it all, and stay tuned, because everything you ask for is going to come.